Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may no longer be working royals, but their recent trip to Nigeria looked very much like a royal tour of their own. According to a source close to him thin in Nigerian high society, Harry and Meghan's trip to Nigeria was hastily arranged upon learning that Earthshot would be heading to South Africa this year. Behind the scenes, the situation has reportedly been chaotic, with many officials suspecting the couple of being under the influence and completely unaware of the political and socio-economic climate of the country. Meghan's interactions and attire have been perceived as highly disrespectful and rude by many. Both Harry and Meghan are high or drunk on something. Their presence has caused significant stress, issues, and problems even before their arrival in the country. It's alleged that they're charging all expenses to Nigerian taxpayers and Invictor, including police services and exclusive access to a mansion owned by a Nigerian tycoon. This tycoon is linked to a friend of theirs from Jackson Hall who has connections to the GOP, the CP, the ER, and the CCP. Just when it seemed the gruesome twosome couldn't stoop any lower, they managed to plunge deeper into the muck. Harry and Meghan Markle recently cozied up in Nigeria with a federally indicted fugitive wanted in the United States. According to DailyMail.com, the new acquaintance is allegedly involved in a $20 million money laundering and bank fraud scheme. Alan Ona, who flew the couple into Lagos on May 12, was part of the welcoming committee that greeted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on the Nigerian Riviera tour. Described by the outlet as part of a small group of dignitaries, including senior military and government officials, Ona was photographed with the Sussexes as they deported their Air Peace aircraft. Air Peace, founded by Ona, is not his only claim to fame. The 59-year-old businessman is a wanted man in the United States, facing multiple charges linked to millions of dollars worth of alleged fraud. According to a federal indictment filed in November 2019, the indictment accused Ona of laundering more than $20 million from Nigeria through U.S. bank accounts. So why are Harry and Meghan associating with a wanted con artist? The case against Markle's new friend is being pursued by the U.S. attorney in Georgia, who states that Ona allegedly leveraged his status as a prominent business leader and airline executive while using falsified documents to commit fraud. He corrupted the U.S. banking system, but his trail of deceit and trickery came to a skidding halt. Yet, despite these charges, Ona is still able to socialize with high-profile figures like Harry and Meghan, who may well welcome him to Montecito in return for his hospitality, perhaps even bestowing upon Meghan the title of Nigerian warrior princess. Rumor has it that Harry might have discovered a new money-making scheme during the trip. You may receive an email soon that reads, Hello, I'm a Nigerian prince who needs your bank account number to deposit my enormous family fortune in the U.S. and give you 43% of the money for your troubles. Harry and Meghan enjoyed an all-expenses-paid trip, including security, lodging, and meals. However, not all Nigerian citizens are pleased with their scarce resources being spent on these two controversial ex-royals. According to the New York Post, a Reddit SMM group linked to an archived article says a non-governmental civil rights advocacy group, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, who for short, has called for a comprehensive investigation into the recent visit of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, to Nigeria. The group objects to the money spent on the visit, amongst other things.